What's up, you guys? My name is Marion with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Aquarius, and you enjoy my content, if you can go down by my soul tribe, I super duper appreciate you saying, saying, saying. If you smash the sub button, in all seriousness, if you smash the sub button, you can be notified for future readings. Just um, throwing that out there if anybody's interested in that. Um, so, yeah. So, this is a weekly reading for sign of Aquarius. Um, this resonates if you have Aquarius in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midheaven, or Jupiter. Uh, we've got a week till November 1st. So, I'm going to go in and do the readings. Uh, I've got you and three more signs to do. And then we'll be done for the month of October, unless I get any other channel messages in. So, I got two channeled in as I was meditating on your weekly energy. Um, the first one was um, about to see, about to see the light, and I heard it very, very, very loud. About to see the light. So that could be you about to see the light, about person, people, place, family, situation, or organization, or someone you're connected to. You plug it in how it fits. And then I heard, um, oh, Stockholm syndrome revealed. Stockholm syndrome revealed is what I heard. So I think you were either either revealing um someone that has Stockholm syndrome you're revealing it to the person people place situation or organization or someone's revealing the fact that someone has Stockholm syndrome to you you plug it in how it resonates now I have a general grasp of what Stockholm syndrome means but I'm going to google definition it that way everybody is on the same page Stockholm syndrome is an emotional response it happens to some abuse and hostage victims when they have positive feelings towards an abuser or captor. A child that has Stockholm Syndrome. Okay, I just heard a child that has Stockholm Syndrome just now. So it's a child that has Stockholm Syndrome. So it could be your child that has Stockholm Syndrome or somebody you're connected to child that has Stockholm Syndrome. Um, whether it's in a professional setting or a... Um, personal home setting or family setting or neighborhood setting or etc 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 but i just heard from spirit it's a child that has stockholm syndrome so it's obviously not you it's either your child or somebody you're connected to's child however you plug into the situation if you do um but i'll read it one more time for everybody um so everybody's on the same page stockholm syndrome and i heard this is specifically for a child that has stockholm syndrome so it's somebody in some in an aquarius's life a child that has Stockholm syndrome. I think you're about to pick up on it, Aquarius. I think you're about to pick up on the fact that this child has Stockholm syndrome is what I think. Um, that's exactly what I think. Or somebody is going to notify you and um, that they um, they picked up on the fact that child has Stockholm syndrome. Um, to me, I feel like you go both ways, but you plug it in however it resonates, if that resonates for you. Stockholm syndrome is an emotional response. So it's feelings it's an emotional response it's cups in the tarot emotional response it happens to some abuse and hostage victims when they have positive feelings toward an abuser or captor so it's a child that has stockholm syndrome towards an adult is what i'm gathering from these messages um they have been they have been abused or in a hostage situation in some shape form or fashion um, and now they have a positive emotional feelings towards their own abuser or captor. So um, you plug that in, however that resonates, um, if that resonates for you. Um, that's really terrible. It's really, really terrible, but it's good that you're about to pick up on it or somebody's about to uh, pick up on it and share it with you. Um, because that's serious. That's serious right there. That's very serious. Um, and if and in child, it can abuse, it can damage them emotionally their entire life if they don't get proper, um, if they don't get away from the abuser. And I'm serious. It can damage them their entire, if anybody doesn't know that, it can damage them their entire life if they don't get away from the abuser. And I'm being serious about that. Um, so hopefully um, you are a hero in this or um, or you are help or you're, or you're going to help be a hero. You plug it in how it resonates. Spirit messages you have signed up for. This is a free journal reading, so it's very, very, very important to only take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. I just want to make that abundantly clear. 
the moon reversed, knight of swords upright, hierophant upright. An Aquarius is about to learn about dirty dealings of a co-parent, manipulation and abuse tactics to get what they wanted. Air sign energy and water sign energy. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates with you. Heard an uh, Aquarius is about to learn of um, manipulation and abuse tactics that I uh, uh, heard a um, manipulative co-parent used um, to get what they wanted, basically. Um, so they use manipulation and abuse tactics to basically get what they wanted in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, so hope to God that's not physical abuse. Um, that really could resonate in a million different ways. It's some kind of sneaky, manipulative, abusive practice a co-parent used to get what they wanted. Heard air sign energy and water sign energy. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, could be masculine or femme, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, you plug these people in your life however they resonate, um, but they use some kind of sneaky, manipulative, abusive tactics to get what they wanted, and they are a parent. So they use what they wanted Sneaky, manipulative ways to get what they wanted regarding a child. And we have the Hierophant Upright. So I think it was regarding, um, for some, I feel it could be um, sneaky, manipulative, abusive tactics to try to change custody. I didn't hear that from Spirit, but that's my deductive logic and reason. Reasoning on this, for some, I think it's sneaky, manipulative, abuse tactics to, um, to try to modify custody. Because um, I heard co-parent, so it has to do with their child. For some, it could be physical abuse, um, which is terrible because we have the uh, Stockholm Syndrome in here and children have energy very heavy. Um, for some, it could be um, putting their child in a marriage real young, possibly, because we have Hierophant, which is marriage or business contract or signing a document in some shape, form or fashion. Um, for some, they could have signed documents um, that they shouldn't have signed if they are like, for example, if they are um, if they are not the primary custodial parent and they are the um, they have um, joint um, visitation, they have a joint custody with visitation. Um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. If they are not the primary custodial parent and it's not joint custody and they have visitation rights, so you know it's not joint custody; it's half and half, just joint. I'm talking about if they are not the primary parent. They're not the primary parent and they have visitation rights, but they go and sign a document um, for the child to manipulate it into their favor, um, then, you know, that's manipulation and abuse of the system, basically. Um, that's what the that energy I'm feeling maybe for some of these people, um, but you plug it in how it resonates because we have dirty contract energy in here, dirty signing of documents. Um, for some, it could be putting their children in um, marriages real young, like 16 or 17, just to get money um, from their spouse, possibly. I mean, you plug it in how it resonates, but it's really, it's nasty. It's nasty co-parenting techniques. It's obviously not in the best interest of the child. I, I can tell you that. It's not in the best interest of the child, for sure, for sure. Um, it's behind the scenes, dirty, nasty behavior. Um, it... And to me, also, too, it could go, and I didn't hear this from Spirit, but my previous experience recently, it could be like, for example, calling welfare checks on your parent. Because, you know, I have primary, for me, use me as an example, I have, a, I have primary custody of my children right now. But my ex-husband is trying to fight me right now for custody of my children. Um, in fact, we have a court date beginning in November. Um, I mean, true story. But I just use me as an example. It, he has performed two welfare checks on me in a month through the police. The second time I got arrested for disturbing the peace on my own property because they took my children away without my consent or authorization, saying both of them wanted to harm themselves. But my son didn't even get assessed by the hospital. They didn't even get assessed. He's fine. He's back home with me. There was no issues. 
And then my ex-husband. Hold on one second. I'm sorry. Hello? Okay, I'm sorry. Some scammer call. Um, so, so anyway, so I think he did that is what I'm saying. I think he knew some people in the, some dirty cops in the police, um, to police force to accentuate that process because, um, the, the male police officer lied to me, lied to me, and then, um, took both my, part of both my children away, but only one of them got admitted to the hospital and my, my child's okay. Thank goodness. But she won't even call me. She won't even call me on the phone. She calls her dad. She refused to do her schoolwork today. I had to call the hospital and speak with the, um, educational technician down there to ask him if he would go do it, um, try to coax her again. because She's 15. She's a child. And he did, he did, but my point is, and she did agree to do it tomorrow. And then I call, I had to call the Dean, um, her college Academy Dean to, um, um, get all the assignments that she's missed since Thursday down there to her. So she can finish them all while she's getting, receiving treatment. But my point is none of that should have happened with me last week. None of that should have happened. It was ridiculous. They wonder, you know, my child's down there diagnosed with anxiety. Well, my God, yeah, she's got anxiety because. Her mom got carted away in a freaking um, police car and um, got arrested and everybody's getting carted off just out of the drop of a hat. I mean, that's not normal. That's not normal. That's really not normal. So, I, you know, that could be one of those type S type of situations too in this situation. If this resonates with you or somebody you're connected to, I use my personal example because I know, I know somebody else out in the universe probably has went through that kind of traumatic shit too, to be honest. It's really terrible. It's terrible. And what happened to me last week should never happen to anybody. Never. Um, but I know what's probably happened to some of you guys. And it's my daughter got caught in the crosshairs of this crap. And she's a wonderful person and a wonderful student. And she does her work. She does her work. So for her to refuse to do her work is very strange. And that's what I told the educational advisor today. I was like, her refusing to do her work is not normal. I was like, if she won't talk to me on the phone. She'll only talk to her dad. So it makes one wonder if maybe she's being encouraged not to do her work for strategic reasons because he knows we're in the middle of the court, court procedure. Just saying things to make you go, hmm, you know. But that might resonate with one of you guys too is what I'm saying. This is dirty, dirty, dirty co-parenting, basically. This is dirty co-parenting all over the place. For some of it, for some of you guys, it involves, um, I feel arranged marriages for children, like 16, 17 year old children, um, because the parent has the legal right at that time to sign the marriage document at 16 and 17. For some, I feel it is maybe like my situation, that kind of crazy shit, um, getting police involved and um, claiming people, um, you know, conditions that are not correct. Um, to, to create chaos and conflict like they did with me last week. Um, or it could be um, um, something else, something else, some kind of false signatures on documents um, regarding behind the scenes, dirty co-parenting, basically to try to make it go in their favor. They don't do it the upright way. They don't do it the upright way, whoever that's for. An Aquarius is having a huge, huge, huge wake up call. Huge wake up call. Lots and lots and lots of action is about to occur soon. One particular Aquarius position of high authority. Okay, I heard Aquarius is about to have a huge wake up call. Lots of action is about to occur. And apparently, this person that's a, a, about to occur, a lots of action. This is a position of high authority Aquarius. Upright individual now realizes the severity. Okay, so the upright, uh, the position of high authority, Aquarius, if this resonates with you, your position of authority in the community or world in some shape, form, or fashion. I heard you're upright now, so maybe you did not, were not upright in the past, but you know, you can't change the past, you can change the future. Um, but I heard you realize the severity of the situation. So, 
you're re you're waking up and realizing some kind of severity. It might be this. It might be something else. Some kind of severity of some kind of situation in your life. I think it probably regards children or co-parenting or custody or something of that nature because we're pulling that in very, very, very strong. But you plug that in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. I mean, whatever position of high authority you are, um, you could be an educator, you could be a teacher, you could be a, um, well, educator and teacher, same thing, but you could be an administrator in the edu in educator realm, you could be a teacher, you could be a professor, you could be a lawyer, um, a judge, um, um, you could be a politician, um, whoever you are, whoever you are, um, but you're getting a huge wake up call and you are high in the community in some shape, form or fashion. The devil upright, five of wands reverse. A particular dirty co-parent is about to be late on particular fees. This Aquarius is about to use it in their favor soon. Time to turn the tables. Oh my God. Whoa. So you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates with you. Um, I heard a particular dirty, you're pulling in, whoever you are, Aquarius, you're dealing with a dirty co-parent in some shape, form, or fashion. I'll tell you that. Um, whoever you are and however you plug in in the community and world and etc. I feel for a lot of you guys, you're a high position, high authority, and I'm serious, but how you plug yourself in, how you be it, um, whoever I'm pulling in, but um, you're dealing with a dirty co-parent um, and they have to pay you some kind of fee um, or, or for some kind of service or some kind of, I heard fee, some kind of fee or service or pay for some kind of service or something, but they're dirty and you know they're dirty. Uh, maybe they proved to you in the past they're dirty in the past is what I'm presuming. Um, or you sense they're dirty, but however, however that resonates, they're going to be late on some kind of fee. Um, but I heard you're going to use it to your advantage um, and uh, turn the tables around now. So I'm assuming you could probably let it slide that they're late on the fee, but you're going to use it to your advantage and turn the tables around. So, but you know they're dirty, so I think that's why you're going to do it um, to have some kind of leverage because they're getting away with some kind of dirty nastiness and they are a parent of children. I'll tell you that. So you plug it in how it resonates. It's going to create many positive series of chain of events for you and for others. Stop the corruption. Okay, I heard it's going to create many positive series of chain of events for you and for others. Stop the corruption. So I guess, um, since they're going to be late on their fee in some shape, form, or fashion, whoever you are and however you plug into this, um, you're going to stop some kind of corruption and turn the tables around on them. Um, I guess they probably thought that they that you would let it slide, that they would be late, um, is what or that's what I'm thinking. They thought that you would just let it slide, that you'd be late on paying this fee. Sounds like whoever this resonates with, you've dealt with them in the past. Is is the energy I'm feeling here? I feel like you've dealt with them in the past. But they think that you're just going to let them slide on paying this fee very late, but you're not. You're not going to do it. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. You could be a business owner. You could be, like I said, a lawyer, a judge, an educator, an administrator, a CEO board, person on CEO, manager, boss, supervisor. You plug it in how it resonates, but you're not going to let it slide. Um, and you've dealt with them in the past before in some shape, form, or fashion. So you plug it in however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Okay. The devil upright, five of wands reversed. A particular Aquarius realized very heavy toxicity in the past, but they did not want to create conflict. However, cycles have changed in a huge way now, and they are about to blow the lid on this. It's going to piss off the people of the past, but that's okay. Time to create balance. 
Okay, so you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates with you. Um, you've re recognized some kind of toxicity in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, it could be with children and co-parents, or it could just be, you know, in your workplace. It could be in your neighborhood. It could be in your love life. It could be in your home life. You plug it in, how it resonates. But some kind of toxicity you've recognized in the past, but I heard you didn't want to basically make waves. You didn't want to make waves. You didn't want to, you know, rock the boat with whoever this is. But I heard um, cycles have changed um, so drastically um, that basically you're about to speak up. You're about to speak up. You're about to turn the tables around on these people um, and uh, create change. You're about to create change. I heard balance. So it sounds like it's positive balance and change you're about to create. You didn't want to make waves in the past. You didn't want to step on toes. You didn't want, you know, you didn't want to get insert yourself. But now, buddy, you are about to, you're about to insert yourself. And I heard it's going to be positive. It's going to be positive. It's going to create positive balance and change. So that's good. So this devil energy is the toxicity of the past. However, that plugs into your life. It could be anything. Um, something toxic, though, um, that has harmed, I think, mentally, physically, emotionally, or spiritually harmed for some people, place, family, or situation. But you're about to stand up to it. You didn't want to cause waves in the past. This is not one to cause waves in the past, but you're about to. So kudos to you. If that resonates with you. Spirit messages you have sign up Aquarius. Okay. I got it reversed and I didn't hear anything. So um, I want to keep it reversed. We've got big hittings reversed. Number two might be very significant. Number two, that could be a significant number in your life, some shape, form, or fashion. Also, I'm going to look up angel number 222. A new beginning. Okay. So, well, angel number 222 is a new beginning. So, I didn't hear anything, but obviously, it's upright because angel number 222 is uh, a new beginning. So, I'm going to keep it upright and see if I hear anything. And we have beginnings. So, just saying, just saying. So, beginnings. A pregnancy is significant to a particular Aquarius right now. And getting a family justice away from a narcissistic co-parent. Okay, so you plug it in how that resonates. If that resonates with you, part of pregnancy is significant for an Aquarius. So you could be pregnant Aquarius or someone you're connected to could be pregnant. The semi's pregnant. So um however that resonates for you if uh, if that does and um at least one of you guys that's confirmation that's my intuitive kitty back there just saying come on buddy come on and um i heard uh, at least one of you guys um getting a particular family justice away from a narcissistic co-parent we have narcissistic co-parent energy in here with stockholm syndrome i might add which is terrible um very heavy in here so i think one of you guys is going to be integral in helping getting this family justice away from a narcissistic co-parent that is exhibiting Stockholm syndrome on a child or children, which is going to create new beginnings for the family away from the narcissistic Stockholm, uh, narcissistic co-parent that is exhibiting Stockholm syndrome on a child or children. Um, and you're going to create, help create new beginnings for this person. For some, you could be the one that's in this narcissistic co-parenting um situation and um somebody's going to help you create new beginnings away from the narcissistic um co-parenting co-parent that is exhibiting Stockholm syndrome may maybe on your children um you plug it in how it resonates and for some you could be pregnant or you could be connected to somebody that's pregnant you have to plug yourself in how it fits but new beginnings all across the board beginnings new 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 creating new uh healthy new positive beginnings not um not toxic not not toxicity 
Um, this this reading is revealing toxicity. It's revealing toxicity. It's revealing toxicity. It's revealing toxicity. Creating new, positive, healthy beginnings for people. And I feel for a lot of you guys, you've been stuck in toxicity for a while. Either um, yourself in a toxic situation or connected to somebody in a toxic situation. But you're about to help either unstick yourself or somebody else. However you plug in this situation. About to do what's right. Okay, I heard about to do what's right. About to do what's right and create new, healthy, fresh beginnings for you or somebody you're connected to. So you plug it in however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Um, that's awesome. That's awesome. All right, you guys. I love you guys. I hope this helps so much. Um, I really hope it did. I hope it did. An Aquarius is about to make very, very, very important phone calls soon. Many very important phone calls. To very high people explaining the severity of a situation. Okay. Okay, so I heard, um, if that resonates with you, I heard you're about to make many, many important phone calls um, to somebody high um, in some shape, form, or fashion. They have some kind of authority or position of authority in some shape, form, or fashion or regard, um, but several phone calls, not just one, but I heard you're going to explain some kind of um, situation in some shape, form, or fashion, and it's going to create many series of chain of events, many. It's time to get the ball rolling with this, okay? I heard it's, and it's um, so you making these many phone calls, if this resonates with you, it's you making these phone calls. Um, because I heard an Aquarius, if this resonates with you. Um, but I heard it's going to be effective. It's going to be effective. These phone calls are going to be very effective. And it's going to get the ball rolling in some shape, form, or fashion to help you or a family or this co toxic co-parenting Stockholm Syndrome narcissistic parent situation. Um, I feel you're going, you're either in work in the legal sector or you, um, you either work in the legal sector or you work in the education realm, I feel, or the legal sector. Or maybe you're a politician, or um, maybe you're a um, work in the law enforcement, possibly, um, or the judicial realm, or something of that nature, or medical realm. Maybe you work in the medical realm. Um, that's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm feeling for some of you guys. Or you just know some very important information, or you could be the parent. You could be the parent having to deal with this narcissistic um, co-parent. Um, that is creating Stockholm syndrome on your child. For some, you could be, I feel you could be that too. Um, or you could be a concerned neighbor of the, you know, parent that has to deal with the narcissistic co-parent. I mean, um, or family member, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The list could go on, but you're connected to this in some shape, form, or fashion. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right, you guys. Well, we're done. I hope this helped for real, for real, for real. I love you guys so much. Um, I'm sorry I'm late, but like I said, what happened to me on October 20th, Wednesday of last week should have never happened to anybody. I'm 38 years old. I've never been arrested a day in my life, ever. Um, I don't put myself in positions to be arrested. Um, I just don't. Um, because I love my kids, and I love my life, and I love living my life with my kids. So, you know, it really upset me, um, but there was nothing I could do about it. I just got out and came home and I'm doing the best I can with what I've got right now. Um, you know, at least my son's home with me still right now. Um, so everybody just pray for me Come with my upcoming court date on November 4th. I'd appreciate it. Love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.